Welcome to iLecture Online and here are some other examples on how to do word problems in algebra. And this time we're going to do word problems using two variables instead of the other methods where we just use the single variable x. Of course, on how you solve the word problem in the end, how you finally get the right answer, you need to use the two equations to a known method, so solving two equations simultaneously. We'll get to that at that point. But um, the technique here is actually fairly straightforward. It helps you do problems in this particular way, so let's, uh, let's give you some examples on how to do that. It says here that the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. The tens digit is one more than four times the units digit. Find the number. So since you're going to be using two variables, you're going to define them. You're going to say let x equal, and let's call x the units digit. And then we're going to use y and call that the tens digit. So that the number that we have will kind of look like um, y, x. y is the tens digit, x is the units digit. And then they tell us the following. It says that the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11, which means that x plus y equals 11. And then they tell us that the tens digit is one more than four times the units digit. So the tens digit, right here is y, so y is equal to one more plus one, then four times the units digit. Four times x is the units digit plus one, that's one more than four times the units digit. And that's how you end up with your two equations. So now you need to solve these two equations simultaneously. There's different methods. But the one method here would, uh, would be the, probably the, uh, the best one to use, which is finding one of the two variables in terms of the other, and that's already in this form. Y is in terms of the other variable, and then substitute that into your other equation. When you do that, you get the following. You get x plus y being 4x plus 1 is equal to 11. Notice that y is now replaced by the 4x plus 1. And now you simply solve this equation for x. So this is equal to uh, 5x plus 1 equals 11. Combining the x's, bringing the 1 across, this is 5x equals 11 minus 1. Remember, when we cross equal sign, you change the sign. And so we have 5x equals 10, dividing both sides of the equation by 5, the coefficient in front of x. And that means that x equals 2. Then we go back to what x represented. It represented the unit digit, so the number then becomes 2 in the unit digit. We still have to figure out what the y is equal to. Well, we can go back to one of our equations right here, this one right here, and we can say that y is equal to 4 times the unit digit, which is 2 plus 1, or y is equal to 9. And so we can then say there's our number. The number is 92. Okay. Very straightforward. Sometimes it's easier to solve word problems like that by using two variables instead of one. So let me show you some more examples of how to do that. 